This is the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Now we first saw it when it was unveiled at the IFA Electronics Show in Berlin last month, but we're going to take a more in-depth look at some of its key features now. Now if you're interested in any particular feature, then you can always jump to that chapter by clicking on the bookmarks here. The Samsung Galaxy Tab has a 7-inch screen with a 600 by 1024 resolution. It's got two cameras. There's one on the front, which is 1.3 megapixel camera for video calls or taking self-portraits, and there's one on the rear. So that's a 3 megapixel camera, which is able to take 480 by 720p resolution videos, and it has a flash. Now, if we take a quick tour of the Galaxy Tab, well, I've shown you the camera and its flash on the rear. On the top, you've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone socket. Just here, you have the microphone. On the base, you have two speakers and the Samsung Galaxy Tab charging point or connection point for an HDMI or TV out connection. You've then got your SIM card slot because the Galaxy Tab is also a telephone. You've got your micro SD card slot, so you'll be able to put in extra memory up to 32 gigabytes. You've got your volume rocker and your power. It has 512 megabytes of RAM to run the applications and a one gigahertz processor to keep things ticking over nice and quickly. Now it weighs 380 grams and Samsung says that it will give you about seven hours of use when watching video continuously through a single battery charge. Now the Samsung Galaxy Tab also has a GPS receiver and Bluetooth connectivity and that's Bluetooth 3.0. Now the Samsung Galaxy Tab will allow you to look at videos and photos on the device itself and there are also a number of ways that you can hook it up to your TV. But let's look at the ones on the device first. So photographs, well we've got the gallery widget here. If we bring that up, we can see we've got a slideshow and we can double tap to zoom in and double tap to zoom back out or we can zoom in by pinching to zoom like so. Now for videos, well those are accessed through the videos application on the home screen, just here. And here's one that I'm accessing from the micro SD card. Now that's a benefit of the Galaxy Tab and something that the iPad lacks. So if I start this clip, you can see that it's my colleague Al Warman looking at the Samsung Galaxy Tab from the tech show in Berlin last month. Of course, if you plug it in over an HDMI cradle to your HD TV, it can output the full high definition video to your high definition TV. Now the HDMI cradle that you can see connecting the Galaxy Tab to the TV here might not be the one that makes it to market. It's a very early production model. Now there are other options of getting the footage off of your Galaxy Tab onto your TV. We can have it over a DLNA connection. So if you have a compatible DLNA TV, laptop or notebook or PC, then you'll be able to access the content from your Galaxy Tab on that device. You've also got the TV out option, which is much like the HDMI connection, but doesn't offer you the high definition. Now other video playing options on the Galaxy Tab include those that you'll find on the web. So for example, YouTube or web videos on our website, which.co.uk. Now those or many of those run on Flash 10.1. Now the Galaxy Tab can support Flash 10.1, unlike the iPad, so you'll be able to play back those files without any problems. Now on to the videos and photos that you can take with the device itself. Well, if we launch the camera application, there are a number of scene modes, including portrait, landscape, night and sports. You've got your flash options, automatic, on or off. You've got exposure, compensation. And in settings, you can even change the white balance and add some effects, such as a negative photograph, black and white, or sepia. Now also when in the still photographs mode, you've got the option here to take a self shot or a self portrait, and that will be using the front facing camera. So you can compose it like so, and it's just like you would on the rear facing camera. Now when you've taken a shot, you can view it and you can immediately share it via Bluetooth, Gmail, or an instant message.
The Samsung Galaxy Tab also acts as an ebook reader and a music playing device. Now there are a few applications that show these features off quite nicely. So let's go into music. Well, the music application that just brings up all the music that is saved on this device. So I'll choose something to play. And then if I go home, you can hear that that's playing in the, in the background. If I just drag this down here, I can see it and access the menu and stop it. Next up, we've got the Music Hub. Now the Music Hub is powered by 7 Digital. So what it does, it gives you access to lots of music that you can pay for and download. It's got a bit of, a bit of an editorial to it. There are the top 20 tracks, the top 20 albums and new releases. So that's the Music Hub. There's a similar feature for the ebook readers. There's the Reader Hub, which is just here. Now this has access to newspapers, magazines and books. Now there are currently, according to Samsung, over 2 million free books and 200,000 books that you can buy. There are also over 100 subscriptions to UK magazines and newspapers. So once you've downloaded your book or your newspaper, you can view it through your ebook reader, which is just here. And they appear nicely on a bookcase. So Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Let's have a look at that. You can see that as you flick through the pages, you get a nice page turning graphic. Now, as you can see, I've got it as white text on a black background, but you can access the settings with a tap on the screen and you can change the text size and the background of the paper. So here it is with large text on a brown background. Now, as well as the Music Hub and the Reader Hub, there's another hub coming to this device next year, and that's the Media Hub. And that's going to allow you access to lots of films and TV programs that you can stream directly to the device. Samsung Galaxy Tab is about more than what you can just see on the screen. It's also a mobile phone, albeit a rather large one. So it has its own SIM card slot here, so it can have its own number, and you can call people, like so. Now it's rather large for holding up to your face to speak into, and in fact the microphone's there, so most people are probably gonna use the supplied headphones that come with a built-in microphone. Alternatively, you can get a Bluetooth-enabled headset, so you can speak that way too. Now thanks to its front-facing camera, you can also make video calls over 3G to other phones that have video calling enabled. Now there is a Skype application on Android that's currently only voice, it's not yet video, although I'm sure that will come very soon. Other communication benefits of the Samsung Galaxy Tab include, of course, email. And uh, here I've got it set up to my Exchange account and Angus, my colleague's ex Exchange account. We've had 150 odd emails since we left the office this morning, so that's absolutely terrific. Now that's set up to two accounts, uh, both from Outlook Exchange, but of course you can set it up to your Outlook and your Gmail or your Hotmail or indeed any other POP account. Now if you hold it in the landscape position when in your emails, you'll have your list of emails on the side with a preview of the email on the right, which is rather nice. And then when replying to emails, well, Samsung has included this swipe feature. So instead of having to tap the number or the letter with each letter, you can just trace a shape over the screen and it predicts what word you're going to write. Now like you can set up this device to multiple email accounts, you can also set it up to multiple calendar accounts. Now great for sharing, but also great for personal use. So you can bring in all your business appointments, but also all, all the birthday details and event details from Facebook, and they'll show here in different colors. Now we've explored the Music Hub and the Reader Hub in our earlier video, but there's also the Social Hub. Now the Social Hub, it brings in lots of information about your friends and the contacts that are saved in your phone directory. 
So for example, you might want to see what your friends are up to. Well, finding their phone number won't just give you your, their phone number, it'll give you their email address, their birthday, but also their latest Facebook status updates and Twitter feeds. Now, it's not just good for bringing in that information, it's also good for outputting that information. So here, I have a feature where I can type in an output, an update for Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter in one. Now, I'm using the swipe feature, so I'll try and write Galaxy tab. There we are, and if I hit update, it's automatically sent out to th those three outposts. Now the Samsung Galaxy Tab isn't just a great entertainment device, it's also very good as a work device and gives you some great functionality. Now as it's Android, it's powered by Google, so you've got access to edit and view your Google Docs. Now those are documents that are stored in the cloud and can be accessed by any compatible device. Now there's also this tool, the Think Free Office, which comes pre-installed and is very useful. It gives you access to view and edit Office documents, including Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and PDFs. So if we have a look at an Excel spreadsheet, for example, you can see that you can scroll around and not only just view it, but you can move into the individual cells and edit them. The same is true on a PDF. You've got the full pinch to zoom, swiping to go from page to page, and the double tap functionality. Now one other application that you might find useful when working, but also has benefits for just general use, is the memo application. So while you can type in messages, just one key at a time, there's also the swipe function. So you can drag your finger across the screen like so, and trace a shape over the letters and it predicts what you want to write. The Samsung Galaxy Tab is an Android-based device, so that gives you access to the Android marketplace where there are tens of thousands of apps that you can download for free or for a paid price and to customize your device. Now, Samsung has teamed up with Gameloft in the UK to bring you games to your device that are optimized for the seven inch screen. Now, some that come pre-installed include Let's Golf, which is a golfing game that I've yet to grasp, and also Nova, which is a shoot 'em up, which I've really been enjoying. And you can play a multiplayer version of that game over Wi-Fi. So if your friends have a Galaxy Tab, you can spin around, sit next to them, and try and shoot their heads off. Now, the Samsung Galaxy Tab is, of course, a great window onto the web. Uh, the seven inch screen makes viewing the web on this device much better than most mobile phones. Uh, the touch screen operability is also quite enjoyable. You can just easily click on a link, wait for the page to load up, and then you can move around the page. You can pinch to zoom like so, and if you double tap on an article, well, it will enlarge that to fill the screen. And then a double tap will take you back out. Now, this device also supports Flash 10.1. So all those animated graphics and videos that you find on many websites that run the Adobe Flash 10.1 will be able to be viewed on the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Now we hope you've enjoyed the tour of the Samsung Galaxy Tab and its features. Now we'll be fully testing this model in our lab soon against the likes of the Apple iPad and the Dell Streak and even the BlackBerry Playbook when it launches next year. But in the meantime, if you've got any questions about the Samsung Galaxy Tab or if you have any comments, then leave them below and we'll try and answer them for you. In the meantime, for more information, go to our website at which.co.uk.